speed ramps are expected to help reduce speeding and ensure safety on the roads. But poorly designed speed ramps found in every corner of the country seem to defeat the purpose for which they are meant for. Ajwa Adobio Russo interacts with passengers and residents on the dangers. Speed ramps are the common name for a family of traffic calming devices that use vertical deflection to slow motor vehicle traffic in order to improve safety conditions. It is done with the intention of reducing speeding of vehicles and motorcycles at some places, especially populated communities along highways. Today, speed ramps have been erected to such an extent they have gradually become nuisance rather than agents of shield against accident. Some residents of some communities along the road say it is in defense of their own safety. We had road signs to guide drivers to slow down, but they were always speeding, so knocked down three school children, so we also decided to construct our own speed rounds. Uh, how the guys ride motorcycles, you know, sometimes it hits the kids and... You know, if you're not careful, even adults are not spared. So that's the main reason why the speed ramps were being constructed. Some drivers also say poor road ramps is a threat to their lives. A speed ramp, you know, is a threat to their lives. Sometimes it is very high, so it destroys our cars. We are compelled to go to Abusokai every month for repairs. At Enchi in the central region, Doka Sehrein says road reflectors on the road will be an added advantage as most road users do not know about the presence of such. There is no sign that indicates there is a speed ramp here. So some drivers who are using the roads for the first time get involved in accidents. But does the Ghana Highway Authority, which is in charge of roads, have laid down requirements relating to the design, construction, and placing of speed ramps. The agencies are government organizations. So can Anyone can appeal to the agency. When you appeal, the road authority would also send its investigators, the engineers and technical team, to go to the field, investigate the situation, and find out whether it is required to have speed calming devices. Why then have they failed to ensure these rules are enforced? Anyone doing any work on the road without that permission is committing an illegality and there are sanctions. The Ghana Highway Authority stated some challenges that they face. You have two warning signs spaced about 100 meters apart from the main speed ramp. But we have realized that when we put up these signposts to warn motorists about the danger of what is ahead, some of our citizens cut them off and sell them as crap. So motorists are not warned enough until they get to where the speed ramps are and then there's a disaster. Since we live in a country where emergency service vehicles ply the same route as other vehicles, there is a need to review the current state of our roads to ensure national safety.